Meanwhile, Governor Greg Abbott made a stop in Waco this afternoon at the Texas Sports Hall of Fame to campaign for fellow Republican Pat Curry, who is currently running for Texas House District 56. Six News reporter Mike Rogers was there. He joins me now in studio with more on this story. Mike? Yeah, Chris, this is the House seat that was filled for years by Doc Anderson. But today, Governor Greg Abbott took the time to advocate for Curry's candidacy for the Texas House of Representatives District 56, saying he was fired up to get Curry elected. Abbott said Curry is exactly the man he wants for the seat, calling him a staunch conservative who represents the conservative values of McLennan County. To a crowd of around 100 people, he assured the room that there has been no stronger defender of the Second Amendment than Curry. Abbott said Curry's experience in the business sector will be a needed asset to the House of Representatives in the continued push to cut property taxes in the state. Another thing that I know Pat is very passionate about, and that is continuing our efforts to cut your property taxes in Texas. The incredible economy that we had led to Texas having the largest budget surplus in the history of our state. Abbott said he endorsed Curry back in December because the two see eye to eye on many issues across the state. Now, Curry is running against Debbie Duke, who has been endorsed by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson. Both Curry and Duke will be on the ballot for the Republican primary on March 4th. Chris. Part of Super Tuesday, that'll be the voting date, and then we'll decide who goes to the general to face the Democrat from that seat. All right, thank you so much.